tracking and kerning, they are now able to uh, make basic type-based posters. This is one example. Another. Well, the usage of graphical elements is prohibited, but some students can't help it. Packaging is introduced, and uh, we discuss concepts like brand name, tagline, um, punchline, logo, etc., barcode. You are to conceive a design uh, for a product, and you are to make orthographic projections and its isometric views. Another example. Um, this is the last exercise for semester one. Um, you have to think uh, and conceive a design for a writing table and propose construction techniques uh, and construction methodology through section drawings. Another example. This is our first exercise for the second semester. Uh, we make perspectives um, using plan projection method. We make perspectives of basic solids uh, in one point situation and two point perspective situations. We cast shades and shadows. We do composite figures. And we try to develop a context around a composite figure. Uh, then we move on to the making of one point interior perspectives and these we largely do with the help of approximation method. Um, we study level differences, cutouts, uh, two point interior perspectives using approximation method. Um, if you've been to Karachi University, you would know this is the foundation year hall. It's an 80 feet by 80 feet large space. Now in this exercise, students are divided into four groups and uh, they're made to sit in four corners and their task is to sketch the corner before them using the perspective principles. And all of it is done freehand. This is a quick exercise. We select a composite figure and we render it in five or six different coloring mediums. This is a composite figure rendered in, I think, dry pencils. This is water-soluble pencils. This one's rendered in, I think, crayons. This is dry pastels. Ink washes. Watercolors poster colors, and spray paints. Um, we then do an applied study of perspectives. We document furniture pieces. Um, we record appliances that we use on daily basis. Um, we study automobiles, um, footwear, etc. And this is the perspe perspective of the donkey stool, our drafting table. Now while uh, studying a home appliance, your task is to um, first measure it and then photograph it orthographically. That means that you have to align 
the camera lens with the center of the respective side of the appliance and they, then you are to reproduce it on a larger scale making use of a grid or a larger scale and render it with pencil. So that's a juicer, a microwave oven. Uh, you're all, you're to make the perspective of the home appliances, your home appliance as well, through plan projection method, that's a juicer again, different type, a toaster, water dispenser, blender, Um, same exercise is done with the documentation and recording of automobiles, orthographic photography and its reproduction freehand, Suzuki Cultus, Suzuki Khyber, um, Honda City, um, Hyundai Excel. Again, you have to make the perspective of the car that you have documented through plan projection method. This is Honda City again in perspective. Toyota Succeed. Terrio Skids. Um, some old model of Ford Cortina. And Hyundai Excel. Uh, we then do footwear. We discuss different types of uh, shoes in the class, like Oxfords, um, casuals, slip-ons, sling bags, stilettos, etc. And your task is to photograph your own shoe orthographically and reproduce it on a larger scale. Anthropometry is an important exercise. Um, this page we do from time saver standards. What you have to do is um, note uh, and memorize and draw the different critical dimensions with regards to human form. You have to note and memorize uh, the interaction of a human form with the different furniture pieces. We then move on to an applied study. What you have to do is uh, document your own self. You have to lie down on five um, 20 by 30 sheets and find out if you're an above sized or undersized person with regards to the international uh, standards for human uh, heights. Another applied study. Uh, you have to ask your friends to make a composition, um, eight or ten of them, all engaged in different activities, different postures, wearing different clothes. You have to photograph them from the front side and then with the help of the grid reproduce them on a larger scale, noting their textiles, their body bends, folds and relative heights. Another example. another. Um, we then zero in on the portrait. Um, one of your friends photograph you right from the front side and keeping the same distance um, between the camera lens and your face, he photographs you from the right side in such a manner that if the images are projected, um, the nose line matches with the nose line on the side the chin line on the front matches with the chin line on the side, eye line, ear line, etc. Uh, this is an applied study of um, portrait picking, but I don't offer this to all the batches. I have to see if the students are really willing to receive it well. What you have to do is conceive of a cartoonic character and make projections of it. Uh, 
Um, we document fruits and flowers. We ask the student to survey the markets and purchase seasonal fruits. They are to then arrange these fruits in asymmetrical composition on their dining table and they are, they are to photograph the composition right from the front side and reproduce it on a larger scale uh, freehand and render it with water soluble colored pencils. Flowers. Same exercise, orthographic photography and reproduction on a larger scale. Landscape representations is the next topic. Treetops, this we do from pen and ink. Um, we discuss trees. Um, we identify 12 or 14 14 commonly found trees in Karachi, and then we ask students to photograph them and draw them on their sheets. Uh, this page we do from pen and ink. Um, interior renderings. Uh, these pages, again, are taken from pen and ink. Uh, you're given photostats from the book. Um, the size of the photostat paper is A4 and you're to reproduce it on a larger scale. The image that you're seeing on the slide is um, a 30 inch wide um, drawing. Uh, this chapter has an applied study. What you're to do is um, think of an interior design scheme for your rooms uh, and then make drawings accordingly. So designed elevations and then um, one point and two point pers perspectives. Another example. Uh, this is our last exercise. Uh, we identify different uh, locations within the university premises and we deploy our students there in teams and they are to sketch the landscapes seen before them. Um, this is the round auditorium building just next to PG. Uh, this is another example. Another sketch of the same. This is the rare side of the physics department. This is foods and sciences department. Boys hostel. <laughs> 